This video is going to go over using the wave equation and inter introducing you to what I call arrow math. Arrow math is basically when you, instead of solving with numbers, you use arrows. For example, if wavelength is constant, you would make an arrow like that, that's a given. And then frequency goes down, that would be a given. And then you try to solve what's going to happen to speed over here. And I'm looking and I see since this side is going down, they got to be equal. So I'm going to say that this side has to go down too. That means that the speed has to go down. So see how we're solving with arrows instead of with numbers, but we're still being able to make a prediction about what's going to happen to speed. This video is also going to introduce you to a tool we're going to be using. It's in Google Drawings, um, and it's going to have a setup like this. Um, where it's sort of like a digital whiteboard where you're going to be able to move arrows around and make this picture with the equation. I could use my givens in the last example like this, move the arrow there, and then uh, frequency went down, and then I solved and find out that I think that speed is going to go down. So there's how we can use the Google Drawing to um, figure out our arrows. And then when you're, if you make a mistake, you hit Control Z to undo, Control Z to undo, Control Z to undo, and get you back to a blank board again so you can do another practice run. All right, so here's an example of um, speed, frequency, and wavelength data table. And I already set out the frequency goes 50 hertz, then 100 hertz, then 150 hertz, and the wavelength will go 3 meters, then 1.5 meters, and then 1 meter. This is just things I set in there. And what we want to do is we want to solve for the speed to see what goes in the speed boxes. So we know our equation V equals frequency times wavelength. So I'm going to plug these in for each of these. So for the first row, um, speed equals, and the frequency is 50 hertz, and the wavelength is 3 meters, and I put that in my calculator, 50 times 3, I get 150 is my speed. So look here, and that's 150. Now the next one, over here, speed equals, and now I'm going to, fre frequency is 100 hertz, and the wavelength is 1.5 meters, and I put that in my calculator, 100 times 1.5, and I get 150 meters per second. And one more left right here. Speed equals, now I have frequency is 150 hertz, and then wavelength is one meter, and this is e easy, 150 times one, is 150 meters per second. So the speed over here is 150 meters per second. So I set all these numbers and then I calculate these numbers and look at the trend. This is what this whole video is about. What is happening with the numbers? Okay, so first of all, wavelength. If you look at wavelength, it goes three, then 1.5, then one. So it's going from three down to one. So wavelength is decreasing. So I would put an arrow like that to show that it's going down. Over here with frequency, frequency starts at 50 hertz, then goes 100 hertz, then goes 150 hertz. 50, 100, 150. It is getting bigger. It is increasing. So I would put an arrow like that. Um, now the speed is 150, 150, 150. The speed is not changing. So I would put an arrow like this to show constant, not changing. It's not going up or down. So notice the numbers. Not changing, 150, 150, 150, increasing, 50, 100, 150, decreasing, 3, 1.5, 1. Now, how are we showing that with our, our arrow math? So here's our equation, velocity equals frequency times wavelength. And I'm just going to put in our two given arrows because we were given these numbers here. So wavelength is going down, so I would take this and put it above the lambda going down, and then frequency is going up. So I would put this above frequency, okay? And then if you notice what we see over here is the speed is staying constant. So we solved for that and we found out that speed is staying constant. So what's gonna happen is, I'll give you an equation and you're gonna look at this and say, oh, this is getting smaller and this is getting bigger. When you multiply these two numbers together, if this one's getting smaller and that one's getting bigger, they sort of balance each other out. So what happens is overall, this whole side doesn't change. Smaller times bigger, it stays the same. So this side's equation is gonna stay the same. So speed is gonna stay constant and that's what we have. Now let's try a few examples. 
So here's another set of numbers. First, I'm looking at wavelength. Wavelength this time is five, five, five. So what is it doing? What kind of arrow are you gonna put above here? Up, down, or constant? It is constant, it's staying five. Frequency is going five, 10, 15. So what's happening to the frequency you're gonna put above here? Up, down, or constant? Up, because it's going from five to 15, it is increasing. Now speed, um, we are, we're going to solve for speed. Our equation, V equals frequency times wavelength, and I'm gonna plug these in. This first row, V equals frequency is five, and wavelength is five. So five times five equals 25. go. So now look at what speed is doing. 25, 50, 75. It's going from 25 to 75. So what goes above here? Up, down, or constant? It's going up. It is increasing. So this is going to be our arrows. We should see this now in our arrow math. So let's try this out. Looking over here, um, wavelength is constant. So I take this and put it above the lambda. Wavelength is constant. Frequency is increasing like that. Okay, now if I had, if I did not have this over here, let's pretend like if I didn't have these answers already, you know, how would I predict what the speed's gonna do? Well, I'm looking over here on this side of the equation. I have one number staying the same and the other one's getting bigger. So when I multiply these together, overall, this side, because it's getting bigger, one of them's getting bigger, and you multiply them together, this whole side's gonna start getting bigger. And since they're equal, if this side gets bigger, they're equal, this side also has to get bigger. It has to get bigger. So my prediction would be, or my solution would be, if frequency is increasing and wavelength is constant, the speed should increase. So looking over here, let's see what my numbers show, and it does show that, just like we said, the speed is increasing. Okay, so this example, we're gonna do a little bit different, a little bit in, in backwards order. So I'm just gonna look, wavelength is going 15, 10, and five. So what happens to wavelength? Is it going up, down, or constant? It is decreasing. So like one of these arrows will go down like that, it's decreasing. And then frequency is five, five, five. It's up, down, or constant? It is constant, like that. Okay, so now let's see if we can solve for what speed's gonna do this time. So looking over here, I got wavelength going down, so I need to put this here. And then I have frequency is constant, so I put this here. And now I'm looking at, I'm gonna try to solve for speed. Well, when I have a constant number and then this number is getting smaller, constant times smaller, this is gonna make this whole side smaller. This whole side's gonna get smaller. So if they're equal, if this side's getting smaller, what's this side gonna do? So what's the velocity gonna do, up, down, or constant? It should get smaller also. This side getting smaller, this side gets smaller. So our prediction is going to be that velocity is going to go down. That's gonna be our prediction. We predict that speed should decrease. Let's try this out, okay? Calculating these speeds. Um, so speed equals frequency times wavelength. So the first one, frequency is five times 15, five times 15 equals 75. Should be 25. And look what happens, 75, 50, 25. Were we correct? Did speed go down? Yes, it got smaller. All right, this is gonna be our last example, and this time we're gonna treat it as a word problem. Okay, so just reading this word problem. If frequency of a wave decreases while keeping wavelength constant, what do you predict the wave speed should do? So see how this is like a word problem, but it doesn't have any numbers in this case. It's just talking about changes in things, changes in frequency, wavelength, and wave speed. 
So that's what these arrows are showing. These arrows are showing how each of these is changing. Well, let's try to put these in now. Frequency of a wave decreases. So fre is frequency changing? Yes, it's decreasing. So which arrow are we going to put above frequency? The down arrow, because frequency is decreasing. Okay, the next thing is wavelength is constant. So is wavelength changing? What kind of arrow are you going to put above wavelength? It's the arrow that shows constant because wavelength is constant, so it stays the same. It doesn't go up or down, it stays constant. Now we have to solve for speed. What do you predict the wave speed should do? Well, looking over here on the right side, one number is getting smaller and the other is staying the same. We're multiplying them. So if it stays the same and gets smaller, one's getting smaller, that means this whole side will get smaller. So what do you think their wave speed should end up doing? If the right side is getting smaller, what's going to happen to the left side? it should also get smaller. This side gets smaller, so should this side, they're equal. Um, so, see, you, you could actually test this by coming up with your own numbers. Let's say I make my own chart, okay, and I can just put in any workable numbers in here and then see what happens to speed. Um, for example, for frequency, as long as um, the frequency is going down, so here's what I picked already. Just pick, You can pick any numbers as long as the frequency is getting smaller. And I pick 15, 10, and 5 because I like working with 5s. It's getting smaller. And over here you can pick any wavelength as long as wavelength is what? Constant. So these all have to be the same as all. And I picked 5, 5, and 5. So that's just an example I came up with using frequency going getting smaller and wavelength staying constant. Now I can just calculate speeds and see what my speeds would be and see if the speeds go down like I predicted. So let's try it out. Um, this for, um, speed equals frequency times wavelength and the frequency here is 15 and the wavelength is 5 And you should always do three of them just to see if there's a trend. And look what happens. And look at speed. 75, 50, 25. Speed is going down just like we predicted. So there's how you use arrow math to make predictions without necessarily solving for numbers, but just solving for what's going to happen to the arrows.